Hey, how you doing? My name is Wesley, and this is... Stephanie. Don't pay attention to him. He's not important. Of Wes and Steph? <laughs> Today, we are going to be reacting to a big black square. We find it very interesting. We love colors and shapes. I'm kidding. It wasn't that funny, but I was joking. And... Today, we oh. are... Oh! Yes, right here, you see? Yeah. <laughs> but today, we actually reacted to Logan Paul's documentary, The Flat Earth, To the Edge and Back, which is a pretty cool name for the documentary. And I'm personally hoping he flies some sort of ship or some sort of ocean liner to try to attempt to find the edge of the world. I doubt that's happening. I think it's just a cool title. I think it's a pretty cool title. We'll see what happens. I hope he proves the earth is round. Do you believe in flat earth? No. Okay, I also believe, <laughs> I almost said I believe in round earth, but I feel like that's just, <laughs> so I do, that's, but. <laughs> I believe in round earth. Let's just jump in and see what it's about. Yeah, this is going to be two parts, guys, so you want to see the second part. It's coming out on Saturday. If it's already Saturday or after Saturday, then you can just find it on our channel, and I'll have it linked in the description down below. Woo! Let's get into it, yeah? Yes. Done. Are you listening? I am. Good. Okay, good. Let me tell you a story. Ooh. My name is Logan Paul, and I, I, I think I'm coming out of the Flat Earth closet. What? We don't have toilet water flying out on he is? in Australia. What? Who's that? Is there, like, romance in this story, too? Who's the girl? Wait, is this Jake Paul or Logan Paul? Logan Paul. Oh. I was like, why is that? Was, that was a cool Studio video. Maverick Productions or whatever. I mixed them up. Man, I feel so bad. <laughs> I was like, why is Logan in this? Conspiracy theories. We've all heard them. The legend of Bigfoot. That was some swagger that Bigfoot was walking with, though. I think it was Area just Logan. Reptilian overlord the real reason Bigfoot is kept a secret is because he's got too much swagger for the general human Everywhere population to go, experience. There's crazy stories being told. But even crazier... People that actually believe them. Global warming, it's, it's a hoax. Who killed John F. Kennedy? He was removed by the Stanley government. Now there's overwhelming proof that it didn't happen. We're willing to risk a child's illness over risking something like autism. However, this is not one of those conspiracies. Is it though? I'm... I don't believe like, in wait. one of those. <laughs> I couldn't even believe in at least one of those conspiracies. And comment which one it is. Yeah. I thought for remember to ask for. Oh. Dislike because we missed our high five. Let's be honest here. That deserves it. <laughs> That's pretty embarrassing. That's a cool. That's really His graphics cool. are really dope. I mean. The editing's been. Let's really just pause dope. it. Let's just pause it real quick. That's the editing really and nice. the graphics. I cannot say. I have no idea. Everything else. This production value is. Woo! Sky high. This production value is higher than people who don't believe in the moon landing ever thought we went into the sky. I have a lot of conspiracy references. So far. I am too. It's actually really good. We're interrupting it a lot. We are, but we're reacting to it. That looks like a pop socket. It looks like it would be a tasty treat. The Earth is just a pop socket. <laughs> New conspiracy. Screw flat Earth. I'm a pop socket Earth. Theorist. My name is Logan Paul. Ooh, I don't like the beard. Controversial YouTube star, boxer, ex-vegan. Boxer is a controversial. And Jake Paul's brother. Yeah, huge or what? I like how that was a My title. My whole life, I was taught several irrefutable. Yeah, hey, I had the haircut. You did. The but until like high school, blue. though. <laughs> Lemurs are native to South Africa. Dogs have tongues that are fully inside their mouths. What? Well, in most cases. <laughs> and of course. The earth is round. Those were weird. This B-roll is crazy. I kind of wonder how they got it. <laughs> what? That is so cool. This or is kind of beautiful. The footage that they are using is gorgeous. It it's beautiful. Like any other day, crying in the shower. I mean, I was talking about the Logan <laughs> footage personally, but you know. Manager, until my good friend Mike challenged one of my deepest beliefs while filming a vlog. Okay, guys, it is J.A. As you know, the last person to leave this circle wins two hundred dollars. How you feeling? That's it. It's a sketch what? on Hanna oh, no Mark, no food and water, bro. Come on. <laughs> Mark! Mark is disqualified, <laughs> making Evan our winner. Congratulations, Evan. Because <laughs> he's dead, you get it? Yeah. The video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Take it easy, fam. All right. That was dope. That was dope video. Good stuff. Good stuff, boys. 
Yo, can I talk to you for a sec? Testus. You good? Yeah. All right. All right. So is this like a documentary or is this a movie sketch type of thing? I don't know. Because it's not like he's just got a second vlog camera filming his vlogs. Like, no one's filming him filming his vlogs. And you know what I mean? I don't know. I think this is, a, I think this is like an extended sketch. Yo, can I, uh, that's being, it's like a mockumentary, not a documentary. I don't know. Give us like for a second. No, like that's a thing. I'm not being funny. It might be flat. I don't know, just like all, like everything that NASA tells us, like about the Earth being round, like could be just like a cheap lie, cover up. What are you saying right now, Doug? Evan is on the verge of death. Yeah. Oh, he's not yeah. dead. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take, no, take care of that just for now, and let's talk about it some other time. Okay. Okay. okay so this. <laughs> but then Mike brought it up to me off camera. This is security for. You probably have another personality that's secretly a stripper if you regularly wake up shirtless with just dollar bills, especially <laughs> hundreds, just laying on your naked torso. You have an alter ego stripper personality. I'm sorry to be the one to inform Jekyll you. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Hey, did you, uh, did you call and said she's all really dead? Um, Those like, beanbag uh, chairs look hella comfortable. They do. Yeah, no, I haven't thought about that, because, uh, that's the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. So, yeah, yeah, like, proof of that? Yeah, proof of what? Proof that the earth is round? Were you there? Were you there? I've been arguing with my friend Nick for like two hours and that's literally how we've looked the whole time. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is, you literally. You both had your hoodies up. I just had flashbacks. We literally both had our hoods up and we're just like sitting down and standing up and but sitting down. One morning to find this. <laughs> Look at that ceiling. So what the heck? Oh, Is that a globe? <laughs> What was that? That was like a little maniacal chuckle. Are you about to like launch some evil plot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are? Are you going to spare my life? No. Oh, man. I thought I would make a cut being your husband and all, but... Hey, what's good? It's all... Oh, many... All the circles in the house are smashed. <laughs> How many globes does Logan Paul have? Is he just a globe enthusiast as well as a YouTuber? Come on, man. <laughs> Conveniently smashed glass. I just stayed in a little pile. Oh. Why? What happened? Dude, have you checked the security cameras? Four of seven. Yo, is that Mike? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad we finally established that this is actually a serious documentary and not a skit. Yeah. I was a little uh -huh. worried there, honestly. You worried that this was like I thought, just be a I thought joke. this was just a joke. Okay. Me too. <laughs> Is that a katana? I cannot believe this. I know people don't like Logan, but I'm actually really enjoying this a lot. Someone who I've known for years. Professional, corporate, level-headed Mike go on an unprovoked 4 a.m. globe smashing rampage. They got some good security like cameras. Pile of Pangean rocks. Mike is a flat earther. The earth is flat. The earth is flat. Man came and says he's flat. How does water stick to a ball that spins a thousand miles an hour? Anyone ever told you the earth is flat? Satan's greatest lie. Destruction. This was just the illusion. The world that we're living in has been. And this is the this is the big problem. You're like, how many of those people were just doing a joke video like Logan? <laughs> you don't know, right? <laughs> I'm sure not all of them, but some of them are. But then. The people who are doing the joke video, other people who don't realize they're joking are like, yeah! Yeah, and like then, Logan, he, his, when he came out as a flat earther, that's going to be like... Yeah, exactly, like... Described. The North Pole like, that's a joke video, I've seen that sketch. A big ice <laughs> it's actually hilarious. In Perth, right? Go around it like this. I expect to see a uh, flat disc up there. Does he really think the earth is flat? A group Enough of people all enough. yelling, we're not crazy, and Jason kind of scares me. Like, <laughs> yeah. a lot. <laughs> it does. Uh, yo, Mike. Yeah. Um, can I ask you something? What? What's the deal, bro? Like, you got something you want to tell me? I ate the rest of the peanut butter. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. I didn't order this. Nah, it's not about that. Um, I'm going to get more of it. Yeah, I told yeah. Danny. Yeah, it's not about the peanut butter. What? I'm going to say this as a friend. 
and I need you to be truthful. Mm-hmm. What is this right now? What are you guys Just doing? Listen, I, I want you to be honest Pink with me. Pink sweatshirt's pretty cool. Do you think the Earth Not is flat? Not the pink one. What are you guys doing? Valley Jazz is pretty cool. With me, Mike, please. I need you, as as a brother. Do you think Jake Paul the just Earth is flat? crying somewhere and doesn't know <laughs> why. <laughs> why do they have so many pumpkins? They have a lot oh, of pumpkins on top of their. Uh, they have them like s- younger, my dad. <laughs> micro influencer. <laughs> for the U.S. government, Department of Defense. I'm a micro micro influencer. <laughs> jobs everywhere, all over the country, internationally. <laughs> but one of the jobs he got was actually in Antarctica. Occasionally, he would take us on the trips. He'd take my mom and my my little sister, yes. and uh, you know, we all went as a family. And you know, he would work during the day. My mom would kind of hang out you know. around, the, around the cabin. There were other families. On the Where did they yeah, find this B roll footage? I don't know. This is really cool. It's probably like in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan, not even like in Antarctica. Some random coast. Yeah. Everywhere, you know, U.S. government, military, do not pass. So we just kind of did whatever. We like snuck past them and we were like just walking around and uh, and like I just something like caught my eye and I I just kept kind of walking further and further and. Um, That was the first time that, that that was the first time that I saw it in person. Dance with the world. That was the first time I saw the edge of the earth. How'd you see that coming? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the first when time, there's the second sister, time. You know, kind of approached the side and looked over. It was just basically stardust, the cosmos. The real question is, did you spit and or pee off of it? Because that's what my first response would have been. Just stunning and that was the first time you know that I really got an understanding we've been lied to we've been lied to to be fair I think the flat earthers mostly also believe space is a lie after me and my sister had, had gone for the first time then we wanted to tell all the other kids you know how kids are right and so there's this one kid that I, I became real real good friends with his name was Pete he had flat feet and um, kind of hobbled around when he walked um, but we struck up this relationship and uh, he was my best friend we were just playing and black and white photos I know, right? you know, he like was born in 95 no he's like 35 black and white photos were totally a thing when he was a kid they didn't have color pictures in 1998 that was the caveman era he got too close to the side and I told him I said Pete be careful all I heard him say was <laughs> that was actually a really, that was, really, that was a really good line. If somehow this isn't a joke, we're really big jerks. <laughs> if Pete actually fell off. <laughs> okay, hold on, pause. Is he messing with me? How'd they scout the location? Yeah. That's beautiful. Friends really think the planet we live on is some sort of intergalactic frisbee? No. <laughs> Instead floats through the universe like a space-bound pancake? Ooh, I'm getting hungry. And I, I want to play so. frisbee. Pancakes do sound really good. Because then, he went public with it. <gasps> For me, a relationship works uh, when both parties are honest, when there's a foundation of trust. See that yeah. word, by the way, right there, trust? Like NASA, for example, like everything they've showed us up until this point, this round Earth from outer space, it's been the same exact picture a gonna, million gonna, times. Gonna rewind and go back to the relationship stuff that we were talking yeah. about. Hold on, let me finish. I'm not done yet. So, 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 so NASA shows us this picture. It's like a CGI composite of the round Earth, and hey, they Mike, expect hey, Mike, us to be these can kangaroos. Can I ask you what you're doing right now, please? Well, I'm not because gonna be a kangaroo with my head in the sand anymore. I got to do something right now. Right now, right now in the please? middle of the podcast. That was actually the hilarious. Podcast. It was live. Was it? They do. They do a live Such podcast. Time. I think. All things flat Earth. This right here, the new standard map of the world. No, they don't. I'm wrong. This is everything we know about the flat Earth, the ice walls, and everything. This is our leader. He wrote this book here, Science Isn't Exposed. The leader has really he nice hair. Mm-hmm. About the Just saying. Nice hairline. I understand why he was elected a leader. My criteria for thought leadership is number one hairline quality of hair and suit he also is a ginger so i can identify with him and bow you bow down to suit. the ginger no the ginger lords no i just like carrots and oh my goodness <laughs> never a straight answer this here is a beach ball. he looks like a reliable dude it, it's a beach ball 
and most importantly, <laughs> the platypus kolowski, also known as the extinct human-sized penguin. You're a fucking idiot, Mike. <laughs> He's right, Mike. No, I'm not. Shit gets biblical, too. And Abraham said, eat off my plate, for it is flat, <laughs> as is the earth. Case closed. Mm, I don't think it is, Mike. I think you're still wrong. Wrong? Yeah, because I've done years of experiments and scientific research, and I can prove it to you guys right now. Here we have a it's making me mad that I sound like Mike when I argue. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and I'm realizing how douchey that is. No, I've done scientific yeah. research. Yeah. I'm getting really embarrassed. Actually, the, way that you two say the same inflection you too. Ground, when you're driving your car down the street, how come this doesn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> Very scientific. Now, watch this. This might be my favorite like extended YouTube skit ever. And now, and I'm kind of hating that I'm enjoying it this much. pretty legit <laughs> but i wanted to know what the rest of the world thought about this so i, I sat down beard. with a select group of highly intelligent you say his beard is weird before nasa could get a hold of them yeah <clears throat> <laughs> so i just want to ask you some some quick questions here what's your favorite color purple blue 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 do you have a favorite animal a dog a dog bird i love penguins i didn't know we clicked on the episode of kids react heard of a human sized penguin <laughs> <laughs> shape is the earth? Round, sphere, round, a circle. Do you mean a circle like this or a circle like this? Like this. Like this. How do you know that? Because I want to say hello. What if he's lying? I'm not lying. How do you know that? They can't lie to millions of people. So you should have fucked up. Huh? But what would they, why would he? Why, what's the point? What do they get out of it? She's actually really smart for her age. <laughs> Uh, oh. What shape is the earth? Flat. Who told you the earth was flat? The earth's flat because if it wasn't flat, then we would all be falling off of it. I feel bad because this kid is probably going to get some hate somehow because, but he's obviously People like... People aren't going to realize he's an actor. Yeah. Yeah. Does that upset you? Like, I don't care about... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's trying to yeah. smile. Look he at that is smiling smile. now. And you found yourself falling at your feet. Yes. Well, I guess that's just the end of my life. <laughs> the child had a good point. <laughs> this was slowly becoming a puzzle that not even I, the all-knowing and error-free Logan Paul, could solve. <laughs> Until I found out about this. This is a day that's going to be etched in history. Quest for truth, this and it can seem crazy, but all of us laughed at this topic, even myself. This is probably the most ridiculous thing I ever thought that I'd be doing, and here I am organizing the Flat Earth International Conference, but I'm not laughing anymore. Two words, That's and there's no other two words that bring the reaction that these two words bring. And those two words put together are Flat Earth. So much now. He doesn't look like a leader anymore. Place. I, I don't think that's the same dude, though. I think it is. is it? There's the I same. Up all my bags, grabbed all of Team Yo, he used some face to him. Has he been learning from Tana and James Fox? <laughs> he got that contour on the picture. Where's the girl in this story? <laughs> you notice what's happening here? Perfectly flat. Yes, yeah, I guess. Do you see any curve whatsoever? No, I don't, like... <laughs> you on board now? Not, not yet. yet. He's literally on board. That's so on a plane. I okay. I I know we keep saying it, but this is really well done yeah. for a YouTube movie. Yeah. And it, I'm not. I, I mean, we're like what? Sixteen yeah. minutes yeah. in, and I'm. Doesn't feel like it. Like doesn't it. feel like it. The hotel, which is also There's your girl. Center. They're they're like together. Yeah, they're okay. pretty much the same building. Okay, that's good. Do you think Logan requires all his staff to wear Maverick merch? Yes. Like, do you think they show up in other clothes and he's like, okay, here's your Maverick hoodie of the day? Yeah, I do. 
I, I kind of did too. I don't know where I was going with that. That's the guy from my wall. You were right. Yeah. Man, the beard looks good on him. Maybe that's what Logan was going for. A similar beard glow up. He failed. You gotta have like short hair on top if you're gonna have a beard. Otherwise, you just look like a caveman or something. A little, a little scrubby. Very scrubby. Scruffy, not scrubby. Both. What's up, dude? How are you? Good, man. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's up, Robbie? Mike, nice to meet you. Does he know he's gonna make fun of? Lock your mind, man. It's gonna blow your mind. Just go in. I'm gonna ask all the hard questions to everyone, and they're gonna like just love the fact that you're just open. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Thank you. That makes me feel bad. I know, I feel kind of bad too. Yo, you fanboy. I was, dude, I was. <laughs> I was up there looking down at Earth thinking, everybody I know lives there, and everybody they know has no. Did you hear this? Uh, shares. That's a NASA astronaut. He's been to space. There's a picture. Bro, he took that selfie. Bro, that is literally uh, the exact same thing as a hologram. Uh, Explain this. This is a this is an image of the oh, of the planet. Oh, literally, literally, like he even has the same hand gestures as me. I, he did the bend over thing. Oh, I'm Just so obnoxious. Right like, I'm so obnoxious. On the planet Earth, it's like a composite, dude. Like a composite, built to continue to like push their narrative, bro. Uh, <laughs> I like that they're all just chilling in the bed together too. By the way, don't they feel bad like meeting the leader and making fun of him? I don't know. I've always thought of Logan would... Paul as a particularly empathetic human being, given his past actions and history. Fair enough. <laughs> Didn't have a problem making fun of his brother. That was, the, that was the joke. I was. I you know, but I yeah. felt like I needed to articulate. It was too vague. <laughs> I mean, I think there's a number of things that fit that, right? That's probably the top. For the flat earth to convince the day all. is finally here. Dun, dun, dun. And history will be made. Epi Not that one. I can't itch it anyway. It's protected, but... Good. Dude, they have a pretty big budget intro, too. It was pretty crazy. Are these things really easy to make, these intro videos? Because they are all really impressing me. Yeah. I want my own intro. BA intro. Yeah, me too. I won't be able to play it before I walk into any room. <laughs> Please welcome Wesley. Average height. Very pale boy. Wesley. Incredible. I remember a year ago I said the same thing, but now we've taken it to the next level. And it's unbelievable to me that in 2018, this many people can start questioning the reality of where they live. But the reality is this. The truth sets you free. And we've all been set free. From what? Free from what? So with that, I want to introduce the Master of Ceremonies again for the third Flat Earth International Conference, Mr. Rick Hummer. I feel very uncomfortable. I know, I do too. Like... I'm not ashamed to say there's bubbles in space. I'm not ashamed to say they lost all the data to the moon missions. I'm not ashamed to say that water's a natural level. I'm not ashamed and to say that gravity is still only a theory and that buoyancy and density still hold on. I'm not ashamed to say that Brian Cox, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Bill Nye, Elon Musk, and the likes of them are not as smart as they think they are. I'm not ashamed. Flat. Flat. I'm, I'm so feeling really uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I don't know how they're doing this right now. I don't know how they're doing it and acting as well. They made some good points. It's like Borat. I'm, I don't know, I'm, still, I'm still skeptical. I mean, at that. least you're opening up now. At least. I wouldn't say that. But it's like someone who's playing a character who went into real world situations and still played the character, you know? Yeah. It always makes me feel super uncomfortable, too. I feel so uncomfortable. I came to the idea of Flat Earth in the beginning of 2015. So oh when I watched my first, uh, it was a six-hour presentation, so it gave me a lot of information about sure. yeah. Way more than, like, the sense Way more than I needed. Research, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Aren't you kind of young to be a Flat Earther? I mean, in fact, like, I can see for myself. I'm almost 15. Oh, yeah. When people call you crazy or whatever, like, what do you, what do you say to them? 
I don't really feel like I have to defend myself. I understand why there's millions and millions of people that are now questioning everything that these space agencies have been showing us. And I don't why is that? This NASA will lie like, about the globe and like about the moon landing and stuff. Then what else would everyone lie about? Have you seen Jurassic World? Yeah. The Universal logo when, when they hit the spinning ball in the beginning. How, is, how else could they have gotten that shot? They're either composite or, you know, animation yeah. or artistic renderings, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Like face, when you like face in. Yeah. I feel so uncomfortable. My dad has always been a truth seeker, yeah. right? He's been telling me since I was a little kid that we didn't go to the moon. He knew about 9-11 right away. He what knew, do you mean he knew about 9-11? Like that it was not the real story. The man was even here. So we're in my room and he like pats me on the shoulder. Oh yeah, by the way, the earth is flat. Oh, of course, yeah. Of and course. I'm like, okay, whatever. So you don't believe in the globe? I, it's not that I don't believe in the globe. I absolutely know that we don't live on a spinning globe. You know it. There's no, there's no, so there's let me no ask you this. Way. The fact that I'm drinking out of a cylindrical cup with a world map on it, does that upset you? <laughs> sure. It didn't make sense to me. It didn't make sense how we didn't fly off or how the water stuck to the ball. My friend actually conducted an experiment where he like he blew up a globe and then he drove a, an RC car off it. And it, it right, why aren't we flying off? Yeah. Do you acknowledge that other planets are around? I don't acknowledge that other planets are planets. We don't live on a planet, we live on a plane. What we see in the sky are just little lights. They're very close. The only pictures you see in the planets come from two sources. One is NASA and the other one is Disney. And at this point, Disney's more credible than NASA. My brother was on a Disney show. That was some heat. That was hilarious. I mean, to me, that proves, like, there's something going on. Don't laugh at this. You know, I'm getting so, like, I, I'm getting so uncomfortable, I can't even talk. I can't either. Of your indoctrination. So many words that rhyme in a, yeah. in a row. Yeah, yeah. And it makes perfect sense when you break that down. Flat Earth affects every single person every day. It's the biggest I like getting uncomfortable chills. Yeah, me too. I don't even know what that means, and I keep shrinking to tighter and tighter. It's all involved. I feel like we're both kind of huddling together <laughs> like shivering puppies. I don't like it. I don't know. I was having such a good time, too. So uncomfortable. Earth is flat. Neil deGrasse can't debate these facts if he wanted to. I hate Earth listening to people rap like world. this. That means it doesn't move when confronted with the truth. I just think that Logan's making fun of them. This guy shot himself out of a rock by himself. And <laughs> they <laughs> thought that they were just, like, they thought they were just being so genuine. They're going to be in a documentary, you know? Okay, why did you do that? This is really to be done. You're a maverick. We got to get you some merch. NASA's been tricking us all. Gravity isn't the law. Ha! Uh, how could Logan do this? He's just Are you a flat kind of being I am ass? indeed. Is this dog a flat earther? She is. By the way, if you guys can obscure my face, I'd appreciate it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. I work for uh, Space Systems Laurel in Palo Alto, California. We were launching ICBM. They're just keeping this all a secret because they don't want people to know they're launching nukes. That's right. So he's got one of Satan's devices right there. Right there. Satan, right there. So what about what about like the NASA moon landings and astronauts and say say that, but I've seen you. I've seen you in space. I don't recall. <laughs> he's actually pretty funny. So your dad is a flat earther. Yes. What do you think? Of, what do you think of your dad? I don't feel like. Do you still love him? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. It's good that you still love your family, even though he's a flat earther. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever considered not loving him? Nothing says flat earth or I understand my theory like wind chimes, mirrors with a Santa hat on top of it. Yeah. This dude, to me, is the epitome of knowledge. Okay. So I really, I think we should probably Okay, talk. okay. I feel like he's kind of bullying, and it's, that's why it's making me uncomfortable. I feel like it's mean. You're a flat earther. I think yep. it's for us. Cool. All right, I think that's a good place to stop. Part one. I feel so uncomfortable. I feel so uncomfortable. I'm kind of hoping it gets back to like sketchdom like it was before. But I really like making fun of people, even though I do that sometimes. <laughs> I don't like seeing other people. I think make fun I think the difference to me is more so like. Yeah, I, I feel like I guess it's bullying in a way because they think they're in a serious documentary but yeah. it's like if, if he had just done this and he didn't have the comedy skit before it wouldn't bother me the same way if that makes sense yeah even but because he, he like is kind of making fun even of if he even if thing. he was like completely doing the same stuff and making fun of their ideas and stuff the fact that he had a comedy skit intro and that they're playing character makes it like somehow feel worse to me yeah you know what i mean i don't know but we'll see if we continue thinking this in part two yeah yeah i guess maybe he'll change my mind
Probably not. <laughs> but we're going to jump into that in just a second, guys. So please do like and comment down below whether you've started to believe in the flat earth yet based on the documentary. Or if you're uncomfortable. Or if you're uncomfortable. And I've only said that word like 30 million 100, times. 100,000 times. Yeah. And our body language cl probably clearly demonstrated as well. Yeah. The link for part two is going to be in the description down below. And we will see you guys over there in part two in just a minute. So, oh. Peace. No. Or it'll be out tomorrow, just depending. But we'll see you guys over in part two. So, you gonna do the hand thing? Bye!